They say, if you hear the sound of sirens in the forest, run. Christ, and it will come, the gigantic creature with sirens for a head hang? Ow! You'll never come back. <laughs> oh, come on! Right, aren't you scared? Sorry, Sammy, but I think the siren head is not so scary. Actually, he's kind of cute. Cute? Rod, you should see him. He's tower tall, with long arms and legs. Where are your manners? And two sirens on his head. I've already heard it. Maybe you can draw it and then I'll get horrified? No, the drawing won't do. I have a better idea. Let's go. Hey guys, today Sam and I are going to make a siren head figure with a 3D pen. Da, da, da. Hmm, I don't get it, Sam. You said the drawing is not enough in this case. Why did you bring this? It's a stencil, Roger. Isn't that obvious? We need to make sure everything's perfect. So, there you go. You just need to outline every body part carefully. Very wise. This drawing looks very cool, Sam. It will serve as the reference. But luckily, I have a really good memory, so we won't need it. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. I'd better save it just in case. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to start. Hmm? Is this broken or something? It won't work without plastic, Roger. <laughs> You're so lucky to have me. How come I didn't notice that, Sammy? <laughs> Okay, you are officially the boss today. And let's go! First, we need to make the stand. Guys, be very careful of working with a 3D pen. Its tip is very hot. The main thing here is to have a steady hand. Almost there. Yay! All done! Our stand is ready. It's time to make the body. We'll start with the legs. I hope you're not gonna leave it like that. Sorry, brain head is not a flat thing, you know. Look at him, what a smarty pants. I know that, buddy. Let's follow the smartest slime's advice and add some volume to the chest. Like this. Don't make it too high. I think that's enough. Now we'll get to the pelvis. Siren head is far too skinny, but it doesn't mean we can leave it like this. That's right. Add more volume, Roger. Yes, Mr. Boss. Sam is very serious today. Maybe that's because he's scared. <laughs> Actually, I hope I get at least a little scared too when we finish this craft. Otherwise, it would be quite disappointing since that's how Sam's idea is supposed to work. We're almost done here. Hook. Here's the last one. Ready. Okay, let's use a soldering iron to flatten down all the bumps. We shouldn't forget about the back. If you want to show him to your friends, you should make it cool from all sides. Be very careful with the soldering iron. It's very easy to burn your fingers. Yes, guys. You'd better ask an adult to help. There we go.
We'll come back to you later. Why, aren't you scared yet? Not at all. Tell me your secret. Why are you not afraid of Siren Head when everybody else is? There's no secret, Sammy. I just know that he's not real. Let me tell you everything I know about him while working. This character was created by Trevor Henderson, a Canadian horror artist in 2018. He works in the special genre that is called unnerving images. The technique is, you get a blurred picture and draw a creepy figure on it. Then you apply some filters and grain and voila! Wow, just look at this! Looking good, huh? Raj, I was just thinking, why did you make the legs now? He already has them! It's just the base. Huh, I see. Check out this almost big guy. Why almost? He still needs some muscles. And here they are. How can you concentrate on the craft and not on how creepy he is? You're literally digging through his belly. <laughs> Sammy, I just don't sweat easily. Now we can get to his long arms. That's cool, Raj. Pay attention to the details, guys. Because according to my sketch, his fingers are quite thin. Sam, I already told you that I don't need the sketch. <gasps> don't need the sketch, huh? You'll regret your words. Just wait. Did you know that Siren Head is not the only creation of its author, Trevor? Yep, I just checked. He also created Cartoon Cat and Long Horse. Yes, all three have exaggeratedly long body parts, which looks very disturbing. But Siren Head is the most famous among them. His fingers look really creepy. Well, let's put the arms in place. For this, we'll use more plastic, like this. Guys, I think it came out awesome. Do you agree? Then give us a thumbs up. So, Mr. Slime Boss, how do you like it? He looks good, but uh, I think something's missing. I'll be right back. I wonder, what's on Sam's mind? Here it is. It's not a real monster without a victim, right? <laughs> I hope now you're scared. Wow, Sam. I'm really impressed, but not scared. <laughs> Guys, check out how Siren Head bent his hand. He's looking forward to the dinner. We'll heat the fingers a little bit. Guys, be very careful. The lighter is not a toy. When it's warm and soft, it's time to shape a firm grip. Ugh, now he's kind of scary. Sam, have a look. Oh, he, he's really scary. Oh. Guys, we're getting to the most interesting and scariest part of our craft. What's that, Roger? The sirens! <laughs> for this, we need to make a paper funnel and use it as a stencil for our sirens. I think that will do. You know what's next? The soldering iron! Just be careful. Well, how's everything going here? Oh, our big boss decided to grab a bite. When I'm scared, I just need chocolate. I want some chocolate too, oh, Sam. Get off! First, you need to get the job done. Sometimes people just don't understand how hard it is to be the leader. Guys, here's our siren. We're going to build a creepy little mouth here. For this, we'll change plastic. This time, we'll use red and white colors. Wow, 
Well, great job, Roger, but don't forget about that tongue. I can't forget about that detail. There, and I already polished it too. Holy cannoli, that's creepy. The last but not least, a metallic pole that holds the sirens. Oh, I can see you're almost done. Yes, I can't wait to see the result. If you're here, want to see a trick? So cool! Wow! Let's attach these to the body. Here you go, Roger! Thanks! Oh, I see you're not scared already. I'm glad about that. <laughs> I'm a leader, you know. I don't have time for this. Plus, I improved his stand. So now he won't be able to move. <laughs> this means I won! Oh, he's gonna hate me! <laughs> Why did you do that, Roger? By the way, what about the wires that connect the sirens to the body? Oh, that's a great idea, Sam. Not just great, it's awesome, Raj. Yes, Sam, you're the best. Just check him out. He can scare anyone. See? Told ya! of the ancient evil. Answer! Ooh. You wanted to scare me, didn't you? Oh no! No, I'm not afraid of anything! You managed to conquer your fear! Great! Let me shake your hand! Guys, if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Don't forget to hit the bell button to not miss our new crafts! Bye-bye! Oh, save me my knight in shining armor! I'm here to help my lady! Uh-oh! Ahem, actually, I have an errand! I've got to go! See you sometime! Sammy, wait, what's wrong? It was you who suggested playing the save a princess from the castle. Yeah, but there's a bridge. So what? Uh, why don't you get it? If there's a bridge, there could be the bridge worm. Oh, come on, Sammy. You're a fearless knight, remember? Well, I am brave, but there is no such princess who is worth that. <laughs> oh, Sammy. You know, the best way to get rid of your fear is to laugh in its face. And I'm going to help you with that right now. Come on. Hi, guys. I hope you're not scaredy cats like our Sammy. <laughs> Very funny, Susan. Hi, everyone. Oh, don't be grumpy, Sammy. Today we're going to make another Trevor Henderson creature using a 3D pen. It's going to be rather big, so let's use a piece of foil as a base. Hey, Sammy, tell me everything you know about our character so that we can make him as precise as possible. Ahem, that I can do. It's a rather long, worm-like entity with no legs, but with very clingy arms that can reach you at a distance of about three meters. Whoa, that's what I call long arms. <laughs> and it has 36 human-like scary teeth, which allows the bridge worm to hunt its prey. Wow, now I think I understand why you were so scared, Sammy. Oh, and its speed is about 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, I must admit, that sounds pretty spooky. <laughs> but still, the bridge worm is a fantasy, and I'm about to prove it to you. Let's get started. Guys, be very careful with the 3D pen because the plastic inside it is very hot. You're gonna need a lot of plastic. 
make for this craft, so replenish your supplies in advance. And the outline of half of the body is done. Now we need to fill in this space between the lines. You know? Oh yeah, Sammy and his perfectionism. Now we're going to carefully take this piece off the base this way. <laughs> this piece kind of looks like a basket, right guys? But how are we going to turn it into a bridge worm? That's pretty simple. We need one more piece like this. Whoosh! I love craft magic. Now we'll attach these two halves to one another, like this. You can either use hot glue or more plastic, guys. Be careful in any case. Sam's right, guys. We're going to use more plastic. It's important to make the bridge worm's body solid. That's why, when working with plastic, you should try to leave as few open spaces as possible. Phew, that stage was kind of exhausting. You better be trained for this. <laughs> guys, while Sue's finishing here, take a second to subscribe to our channel. We'll be right back. Okay guys, here's what we've got. A body for our character. Hmm, Sue, it's not that I'm criticizing, but couldn't we make it look neater? <laughs> Aha, now you're into this craft. The soldering iron will help us smooth the surface of this piece really well. But this tool is not a toy, guys. You'd better ask an adult to help you out at this stage. Like this. Looks like Sue's enjoying the process. <laughs> That's true. Besides, the preparation stage is always very important when crafting. But I think a tiny bit of magic can't hurt. Whoosh! Huh? Why isn't my magic working? Wrong spell, Susie! Oh, right. <clears throat> Bibbity, bobbity, subscribity! That's better. Check this out, guys. Looks awesome, right? Now we need to make other things. Like a face and arms for our bridge worm. Would you care to help me, Sammy? Hmm, clingy fingers versus sharp teeth. I'll go with the first option. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. It looks like I'm out of plastic here. Give me a few seconds, guys. Hey, this bridge worm doesn't look scary at all looking like that. Sue? Sue? Hmm? Oh no! Where's Sue? Did you do something to her? You! <gasps> Sammy, what's going on? Oh! Sue! You're here and you're all right. Uh, I gotta go. Of course I am. And what is that? Some kind of another piece for our craft? It's for the worm's head. You know that uh, hood-like thingy? I thought we might use that as well to make him look uh, more real. That's a great idea. Guys, give a thumbs up to our inspired creator and let's proceed. Since Sammy made that piece, now we need to put one more layer of plastic right here. This will give us the effect as if the part of the bridge worm's skin kind of opened to reveal his scary face. Ew, I wonder how Trevor Henderson came up with this creature at all. Guys, we need to smooth out all these details that we've drawn once again. For your convenience, we'll use the video editing magic this time. Yay, that's better. Huh, it is kinda convenient. Oh, come on, do you wanna finish this craft or not? Oh, right, sorry, I got carried away. Let's see, this goes here, uh-huh. This way. Oh yeah! Well, this bridge worm is not scary at all! Wow, great job, Sammy. But maybe we should give it bright colors? Stay tuned. Hmm, so white, red, yellow, black, brushes, and water. I'm all set, Sammy. Um, where are you? I'm here, Sue. I, I think my fear took over me once again. Then we have to draw its face so that you can laugh at it. 
Remember? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll start to set you an example. Here we go. I'm a bit worried about Sammy. He always loved the decoration part, and now he's hiding. Nobody's hiding, Susan. If you must know, I'm working back there. Oh, really? I wonder what you're busy with. Making the bridge worm that close to the original one. Then we should have a more impressive bridge for it to live under. Hmm, sounds intriguing. Do you agree, guys? Then feel free to subscribe. By the way, Sammy, what about his teeth? I'm on it, Sue. Now Dentist Sam will show a magic trick. Teeth, I command you to grow. Wow, so cool! By the way, we've already made a few crafts involving Trevor Henderson's creatures. You defo should check them out on our channel, guys. And don't forget to give a thumbs up! Great! All we've left to do is paint the bridge worm's eyes. Remember how strange and spooky they look? And I heard that they're able to rotate like crazy! So draw the pupils looking in different directions. If you say so, Mr. Bridgeworm Expert. <laughs> Be very careful, guys, to draw everything neat. Or ask an adult to help you. Crafting together is always so much fun. Oh, I could do this all day long. <laughs> Great, just one tiny detail left. Looks awesome. Okay, we're done. Let's take a quick look at this guy once more, and then we'll go and see what Sam was doing all this time. Sammy, where are you? The guys and I have already finished. I'm done too, Susie. Check out this wonderful diorama that I've made single-handedly. I also came up with a cool story. Once upon a time, there was a van. It traveled across one picturesque bridge in Tibidaba and... Wow, that was so cool, Sammy. Well, are you ready? Uh, uh-huh. Start laughing right now. <laughs> Do you see, guys? Sam is no longer afraid of the bridge worm. <laughs> Actually, I wonder how I should make him stop laughing now. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Subscribe to our channel and bye-bye. What are you afraid of? What if I was Jack is hiding under the bed? Or Smile Dog? Ah! I've checked three times, Sammy. Nobody's there. See? There's really nothing to be scared of. But what if Lone Horse is sitting in the drawer? Or Cartoon Cat? Ah, <sighs> should I go over there again, open it, and show you that nobody's inside? No! What if you go and, and Slenderman immediately appears outside the window? That's it. The best way to deal with your fears is to face them. We'll do it in a special craft way. Hi, guys. Our main task for today is to help Sammy conquer his fear of urban legend monsters. I'm not afraid I laugh in the face of monsters. I'm just a little bit nervous about them. <laughs> okay, okay, let's start. I've already prepared all the cardboard pieces. First of all, we need to take these two to build a small box. 
Guys, don't forget about safety when working with a glue gun. You can easily get burned, so you'd better ask an adult to help you. All right, now we'll attach it and press a little. Like this. Perfect. Sue, what character are we making first? Hmm, I was thinking about monsters hiding under a bed, for example. Or something bigger. What about bridges? Hop! Huh? Are you talking about bridge worm? Yes, here comes the finishing touch, and our box is ready. Okay, guys, now we need to use more pieces. Let's take this one. Did you know, Sammy, that there's an old Norwegian fairy tale called Three Billy Goats Gruff? Once upon a time, there were three goats. They didn't have anything to eat near the place where they lived, so they decided to go to the other side of the stream. They had to cross a bridge under which a hideous and evil troll lived. He ate anyone who tried to cross it. So the smallest goat was the first one to meet the troll. Sammy, bring the duct tape, please. And the troll ate him, didn't he? No, Sammy. The goat told the troll to wait for his elder brother, cause, you know, his brother was much bigger and tastier. Oh my Feta! No way he betrayed his brother! Don't interrupt me, Sammy. It's impolite. I'm sorry, Sue. I just really want to know how it ends. The troll agreed. But the second goat told him to wait for the biggest brother. The third goat was brave and smart, and he knocked the troll off the bridge with his horns. <laughs> Now I know what to do with bridge worm! And now it's time for decorations! Decorations! That means you can't do without me! You're absolutely right! Do you want me to give you a task? Of course! You know I master at this! Well, then you can make his arms! Sam doesn't know this yet, but our bridge worm will eat coins! I think it'll totally destroy Sammy's fear of this monster. I mean, how can you be scared of somebody who helps you save money for sweets? <laughs> I'm almost done with the arms, so I think you should also spit up a bit. Okay, as you wish. Let's do this. The drawing is ready! Now we need to cut a hole here. Better not put your finger in this mouth. <laughs> I think that now we need to glue that on our box. Am I right, Sue? As always, Sammy. Here we go. Try to do it neatly. Don't rush, guys. Sue, check out my new arms! Whoa, Sammy, you did a great job! They go here… and here. Great! All we need to do is to draw a face on top of the box. Wow! It looks so real! I like it, Sue! Okay, now let's outline the drawing we made with a black pen. By the way, I bet you're gonna be surprised, Sammy. You know what? Bring me a coin. Why do you need that? Just watch. And… Hocus pocus! <laughs> Nobody will dare to touch a piggy bank like this! <laughs> you bet! Are you ready for a new craft, guys? First of all, we need to fold a piece of paper this way. Done. What are we making now, Sue? I was thinking about Cartoon Cat. Oh, that creepy one! <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, it reminds me of all cartoon characters like Mickey Mouse and Felix the Cat. And I must say, they're actually really funny and cute. Don't you agree? Well, I… yes? Well, then there's no need to be scared, Sammy. Finish this one and we'll see! Guys, I used some craft magic to speed up the process. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, it looks so funny and scary at the same time! <laughs> Thanks. Did you know that this character was created by Trevor Henderson? A Canadian horror artist. He's the creator of Siren Head and Lawn Horse, too. No way! I can't believe it! <laughs> Look 
closer and you'll notice the similarities. All right, the first ear is done. So all his characters have exaggeratedly long body parts. And they all look… really disturbing. <laughs> Can't wait to see the result! <laughs> then we should speed things up a little bit. Sammy, did you know that all these creepy stories belong to the genre of urban legends? I just checked and that's true! And there's a lot of them! Told ya! <laughs> so our craft is ready. Do you want to see it, Sammy? Do you even need to ask? <laughs> Guys, are you ready? Guys, what about making an infinite paper game? We need to draw four creepy characters on the same pieces of paper. Oh, can I choose? Let it be, um, Siren Head, Long Horse, Cartoon Cat, and Smile Dog! <laughs> of course, Sammy. That's a good choice. Let's start. Looks nice! I'm gonna use some craft magic to make everything happen. Whoosh! <laughs> Ta-da! We added some color to the characters. <gasps> Susie! You got things messed up! You were supposed to paint but not to cut them! Calm down, Sammy. Everything has been thought through. You'll see everything by yourself. Follow the drawing like this. Then this way. And once more. Perfect. Now it's time to assemble our game. Sammy, bring the glue, please! Always at your service, Miss Susie! We turn the siren head drawing over. Now we'll apply some glue. Only to the corners. There we go. All right. And then we'll attach long horse to it! That's right, Sammy. Do everything carefully, guys. Don't rush so you don't make a mistake. It's important to make the game work. Now we can open the craft this way, take the glue again, and apply it to this side of the drawings. This is not hot glue, guys, but still be careful working with it as well. Unless I counted it wrong, that's the last drawing, Sue! Guys, try to apply the glue exactly as Sue did. It's very important, otherwise the game will not work! Wow, Sammy, it's really amazing! Are you ready to test it, guys? You already know this guy, but I think we can do something else with him. Let's start. I'm gonna draw a character. And you guys try to guess who it is. Sammy, you're in the game too. I think I have the answer. It seems to me this is Bridgeworm. You're right, Sammy. Can you please bring me a cutter? There you go. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. It's not a toy. You'd better ask an adult to help you at this stage. And now, we can open and close this tiny window. I bet there's gonna be something under this! You couldn't be more right, Sammy. Look! <laughs> Guys, I decided to make another cartoon cat because I like it so much! <laughs> First, we'll draw three small circles. Sue, don't say that 
that's our last craft for today. Pretty please, they're so great, I could craft all day. Attention, a trick. <laughs> isn't it wonderful? Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Aw, what a cute kitty. It isn't scary at all, right? Check this out. It can fit on my palm. Pretty awesome. I love it. Sue, why do we need this? <laughs> You're about to see. First, we need to put the plastic piece on top of the black one. Then we'll mark one centimeter from all the edges except for the bottom. I guess you'll need these, gentlemen. Guys, who do you like more? Long horse? Siren head? Or maybe cartoon cat? Now we need to copy this image right here. Whoosh! Sammy, bring me the flashlight! With this flashlight, you can see everything at night! Right, Sammy. And now we're going to see all your fears. <laughs> wow! Impressive, right? What do you say, Sammy? Are you still scared? Yes, you're right, but today it'll serve a different purpose. I think I can already draw Cartoon Cat with closed eyes. <laughs> but still, even the greatest can draw with closed eyes. Like Master Sam. <laughs> well, watch me. No, 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 no. What do you say? I am very surprised you still haven't taught me that. Moreover, I'd say this situation is outrageous! Come on, Sammy, don't be upset! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was our last graph for today. Shall we check out all the creepy characters we made? Ah! Guys, today we've made seven different cool crafts with creepy characters. Ah, oh, Sue, let's go to bed. Come on, it's too late. It seems you forgot about your fears. Our goal has been achieved. Guys, if you like our crafts too, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Ah, oh, good night, guys. Have sweet dreams. Oh. And then the old lady said to the boy, Give me your heart! <laughs> Did I scare you? <sighs> wow, guys. What a tough crowd. Uh-oh. <laughs> Roger! How could you scare me like this, huh? Sorry, Sam. It's just I saw your little spooky night over there and immediately decided to join it. Yeah, except I wasn't scared at all. Oh, really? Ah! <laughs> oh, it's not like we're at the haunted house. Why don't we make one? Uh, uh, oh, hey, what, what's going on? Hi, guys. Today, Sam and I are going to make something really cool. Yeah, we'll build the spookiest house of all and inhabit it with ghosts. I must stop you right there, buddy. What? what? Ah! Well, we won't actually build the whole house. 
Ta-da! Mmm, rad! This looks like a cute, sweet little dollhouse. We'll scare nobody with this. Not for long. We'll change it radically in the next 10 minutes. But first I need... Oh! The rubber gloves. And guys, don't forget to protect your tables as well, or everything will be covered in paint. And let's wear a protective mask. Let's get started. Well, Sammy, what do you say now? The house is no longer cute, huh? Hmm, let me see. Interesting. As a professional crafter, I approve. But Roger, what's with the floor? Oh, don't worry, Sammy. We'll cover the second floor with this wooden texture. That's just what we need for the old haunted house. Right, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you agree. Oh. Rod. Guys, feel free to subscribe while we're working on the floor. See you in a second. The scary skeleton. What are you doing? Oh, oh Rod just scared me. I just thought it would be nice to add a few scary touches here and there. Hmm, I see. And gray paint was your best choice, huh? <laughs> well, if you have a better idea, you can take it from here. I don't mind. Oh, Sammy, come on! What a drama king! Whoa, a king? I like that! Hear my command! All paints and brushes must start working! Now we're talking! Hey, Sam, come check this out! Huh! Your designer skills are actually not bad, Roger. But you can hardly keep up with me! What do you have there? Here's your popsicle sticks! Can you guess why we would need them? Um, to make a spooky ice cream? <laughs> no! The board off the windows! I even already covered them in stain. Now we'll glue these sticks from the inside part of the window. One by one. Wow, that's quite an idea, huh? Sammy, don't make a mess here! This way! By the way, people board up windows not only to scare the unwanted guests away, but also to escape a powerful storm. Maybe somebody spooky would peek through these cracks. Who? 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 Sammy, don't be afraid. It's just the decor element for the front door. A couple more skeleton hands and a nice reef will be ready. I wasn't scared, Roger. I just didn't expect even made matching candles! Oh, really? Wow! Guys, he did! Just check these out! Oh, but we totally need a perfect scary shelf to put them on. Sammy, do you have any of those stained popsicle sticks left? Yes, why? We're going to make a coffin! A coffin? What? I, of course I was kidding around. This is going to be a shelf. Well, we put some spell books and those amazing candles that Sam made. There you go. Oh. And what about the other furniture, Raj? Are we planning on something exact? I'm glad you asked. I saw a few old toy couches and chairs back there. I wonder if somebody could work on them to make them less bright and more fitting for a house. You know. Say no more! Master Samuel is a pro in all kinds of designs. Guys, you can't even imagine how cool it is to have such a great helper in crafts like Sam. Say what, Rod? You're the best, Sam. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You're free to support Sam with a ton of thumbs up. In the meantime, Let's make a few spooky decorations out of clay. We'll need a couple of balls like this. And voila! How do you like this bowl of eyeballs? I definitely like it. <laughs> hey Rats, check this out. 
Wow, that's so cool! But it's not all! What do you say, Raj? Did I handle your task right? Yeah, and that's amazing how fast you did this! Ha! <laughs> More things are coming! Now that bowl will have its own spot right here! Great! I'm happy that you like what I did! Phew! Nice try, Sammy! Very nice! <laughs> uh. Ooh! While Sam was trying to scare me, I made these spooky curtains! Let's hang them up! Right here! Ah! Oh, Sammy! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! While Raj is busy with curtains, I want to show you something! Guys, what do you think this is? Oh, what's that? Hey! I just don't get it! Hmm... Ah, oh, it's a palm tree! But Sam, why did you make it? You're mistaken, Raj! <laughs> no, you look like a palm tree! <laughs> don't you like my new look? It's cool! Actually, I made a lamp! Sam is a genius! He used skeleton feet to make a lamp! I heard that you found a dweller for the house, Raj! You might need a bed, then! And I have some pillows and a cozy blanket for it! It is a perfect fit for this bed, right? But before we put the bed in its place, here comes a matching carpet! Here we go! Well, how do you like it, guys? We'll have a sofa and an armchair with the same pillows as on our bed! There is definitely no Santa coming through this chimney! <laughs> Raj, look what I found! Whoa! It's a haunted retro automobile, limited edition! <laughs> Now we'll put our spooky car in this garage! There you go! Oh. Something's still missing here, Sam! I just can't figure out what exactly! Let's see! Spooky decorations! Skeletons! <laughs> I know! Wait! Where did he go? We almost forgot about the perfect lighting! Here, take this! Awesome, Sam! Oh, artificial candles! I like this, but this way I like it even more! Let's put this candle right here! Cool! Here comes the last touch! Now let's check out our haunted house in all its glory! Follow me! If you dare! Glad that you liked it, Sammy. No, really. I even feel shivers standing next to it. That's spooky, huh? Amazing. Roger, we just stopped that. That's not working anymore. Stop what? I'm doing nothing. But, uh, oh, well, what was that then? I don't know, Sammy. We'd better get going. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you soon. Kitty, where are you? Hey, Sammy, have you seen Fluffy? I can't find him anywhere. Yep, that's because I gave in to Raj. 
What do you mean you gave him? Ever since I saw that cartoon cat, I can't stop thinking, what if Fluffy turns into him? Please, Sammy, not again. There is no cartoon cat. It's just a product of your imagination. That's easy for you to say. You're not afraid of anything. Right now, I'm really scared for Roger because Fluffy doesn't like being in a strange place. How about this? You bring our cat back and I'll fetch everything for a new craft. <sighs> All right. Hey, ugh, Fluffy, I said I'm sorry. Oh, hi, guys. Are you also not afraid of Cartoon Cat? Well, we have the most fearless and coolest viewers in the world. And today, we are going to impress you guys with a very simple yet astonishing craft. What's with the doll? She's gonna become a Cartoon Cat. Oh, my God! And we'll start by getting rid of her hair. Because, you know, Cartoon Cat doesn't have a hairdo. Be careful with the scissors, guys. Watch your fingers. Actually, it's not our first doll makeover. Browse our channel to see more videos about that and also subscribe! And if you already watched those videos, you know that sometimes we have to do this to make things work! Next thing, we need the tweezers. This way we'll make her head really smooth. You gotta be very careful at this stage and try not to damage the doll's head. Uh-oh. Very funny, Susan. Very funny. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. Anyway, our next step is to wipe off the doll's makeup. So, a cotton sponge and a few drops of acetone should close the deal. Here we go. This way. Ew! <coughs> What's that smell? Ugh, I'd say you'd better work in a well-ventilated room while doing that. <laughs> And a couple of smooth touches, like this. And this is what you should get at this stage, guys. It looks like we're done here to me! The doll is already scary enough! <laughs> oh, Sammy, stop it! He's just joking, guys. What we're gonna do next is to make a rather big cut over here to me. <gasps> His frightful mouth! And then he's gonna eat me! Ah, so that is what Cartoon Cat actually does to its prey. Be careful here and don't cut too much, guys! Also, don't cut your fingers or better ask an adult to help. Even its creator, Trevor Henderson himself avoids answering questions about Cartoon Cat. All that is known for sure is that Cartoon Cat is the most dangerous of all monsters. Even his fellow unnerving creatures prefer not to meet him in person. Sammy, I thought you went for the air clay! Come on, our craft is waiting! All right, don't go anywhere, guys! We'll be back soon! Okay, guys, now we need to give our headpiece a proper cat face shape. Air clay is a perfect material to do so, so we'll just take a piece of it and spread it all over the doll's chin. Meow, don't forget to smooth everything properly! <laughs> Sammy, did you finally embrace the spirit of our craft? I was trying to butter up Fluffy and play with him, but he's still mad! me for what I did. Well, of course! You hurt his feelings when you gave him away! Guys, you should never do this to your pets! Oh, uh, you're right! <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should give him his cat treats? In the meantime, we're done. Let's leave this whole thing aside for a bit to let the clay settle. And we'll sew a bit. Cartoon Cat is black, but we won't be painting tonight. Did somebody say painting? I am so ready for this! No, Sammy, but thanks for the pencil! It will help us outline our template on a piece of stretchy fabric. Now we'll magically cut it out! Whoosh! And multiply it by two! Wow! So cool! Ah, I see where this is going! It's sewing time! Very good, Sammy! Sure! Guys, try to make even stitches. And don't come close to the edge of this piece with your needles. Go on, Sue! And don't forget that you should always sew with your fabrics inside out! That's right! I've left a space here so that I'll be able to do this. Sammy, how's our doll's head doing back there? Very good! I think it's ready for the next stage, Sue! Awesome! Yeah! Then we can put it inside our fabric piece, and this step will be completed! Uh, no, no, Sue, it won't! He still has no face! I mean, muzzle, or whatever he's supposed to have! Sammy, you're getting ahead of yourself as always! Give me a minute! 
guys. Be careful at this stage and don't let your fabric come apart. Here we go. You can even use a tiny bit of glue to make your cartoon cat's mouth stay even. But what about his big thumbs that are normally visible from afar? Little strips of red air clay will solve this problem. Check this out! <laughs> now he looks like he's getting ready for a photo shoot! Smile! I'm gonna get these developed! <laughs> but for a perfect smile, he's totally missing some teeth. Let's start gluing them one by one. Hop! Shiver me chatters! Those teeth are crooked! No more sweets for that young man! I think the teeth look great! You better take care of yours, mister! This is his cat nose also made out of foam paper. And a couple of big eyes. Which to me don't look scary at all! That's because Cartoon Cat Monster is kind of based on an actual cartoon character from the 1930s! And cats in cartoons are defo supposed to have kind eyes. A finishing touch? And done! Guys, it seems like Susie decided to take a break from our craft! Look! She's playing with dolls! <laughs> Looks fun! <laughs> uh, Susie, did you forget that we haven't finished our cartoon cat yet? Nope! I want this old Ken doll's body to have its new life as a part of our craft! Interesting! But Sue, Cartoon Cat should have really long arms! And he will! We're going to make them from this bendy wire! We just need to fold it in half like this… And then twist it properly! This way! All the way through the length of this wire piece! Guys, we've already made a couple of crafts devoted to Cartoon Cat! You should defo check them out on our channel! And that's it! Now let's put this piece in its place in the craft like this. And add a couple of pipe cleaners just to make the arms of our character a bit thicker. By the way, you can find those pipe cleaners in the nearest craft store! Just ask your parents to get you some! Yeah, and also be very careful at this stage so you don't poke yourselves with it. All we've left to do is dress this body up and whoosh! You can ask your parents to help you with the sewing part. Interesting! Aren't we going to sew his white gloves as well? Actually, it'll be much easier to make them from air clay. We'll make a few cuts just like this, but be very careful with the cutter, guys! I think it's high time to upgrade it! As soon as the air clay dries out, we'll use a black marker to make a few adjustments here. This way it'll look more real and… mmm… cartoonish! <laughs> here comes the right hand… And the left one… <laughs> and the head, of course! Awesome! Holy cannoli! Guys, I had no idea our craft would turn out that great! Do you want to check it out with me? Let's do this! about. Me and my new best pal Cartoon Cat, of course! He also wants to watch that 1930s cartoon with us! <laughs> I'm glad you finally overcame that fear of yours! Wait, wait, Susie! Why do I smell cheese? That's because I thought it's time to get rid of your cheese phobia! Ah! Ah! Or it's not! <laughs> anyway, guys, did you like our craft today? 
Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe! Bye-bye! See ya, boys and girls! Sammy, it's study time! Ooh, do we really have to do this? But you need it! You wanted some brain training, remember? My brain's already turned into slime! It's not! What's wrong? I thought this book wanted to eat me! <laughs> Sam, it's just a textbook! Haven't you seen biting books? Then show me! I dare you! <laughs> okay then, I'll give you a short break. Let's make the monster book of monsters! Woohoo! No studying! Attention class, today we have a magic crafting lesson! Oh, this lesson is right for me! What are we gonna transform? You show me! What comes to your mind? Hmm, aha! Uh -huh. I have the coolest idea! A Puricus wooden boxes! This will become a magic book for care of magical creatures lesson from Harry Potter! Magical creatures? Like our hamsters? No, I don't think our hamsters are magical in any way! Thanks for the putty! Guys, do you like our videos with pets? Give us a thumbs up if you do! Woohoo! Holy cannoli! So many likes! <laughs> Sammy, you're like a real wizard! You should attend Hogwarts! Oh, where is my owl with a letter from Professor McGonagall then? Don't give up! At least today you'll get your own Hogwarts textbook! Yeah, a bitey one! How am I supposed to deal with it? We'll tame it, and we finished this putty layer! Hmm, it really looks like book pages! Let's cover it with acrylic paint! You read my mind! Let's paint the base color and then add some details! Guys, check this out! The acrylic layer is ready! Wow! Did I learn the Wingardium Leviosa spell? Or maybe your friend slime tricked you! <laughs> okay, Mr. Prankster! Are you hiding anything else from me? No, I'll just give this to you! A template for book's jaws! Ooh, looks scary! Let's make a shape for the jaws using polymer clay! Hey, Susan! You got some very sharp teeth! <laughs> You're right, Toothy Slime! Let's attach these teeth to the jaw! Oh, but you have to stick them well, or they'll fall down! Got it! Let's shape the gums now! This way! Wow! It's starting to look really scary! Let's move on! <laughs> Sue's gonna be startled! Hey! Shipping me cheddar, Susan! It's not fair! I can say the same about you! You wanted to prank me first! Now it's my turn to win this round! Yum, 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 yum! And I prepared another weapon! Defend yourself! I see you've already moved to the next stage! The book is about monsters, so we can't do without tentacles! Then what are we waiting for? Let's make a whole bunch of them! Here we go! Check out these tiny cute tentacles, guys! They look lonely! Let's join them using pieces of polymer clay! I look like Medusa from Greek mythology! Wow! What, Sammy? Did you turn into stone? No, I was just amazed by my coolness! <laughs> Guys, pay attention! We'll use clay softener to remove fingerprints! I is it safe for slimes? Don't worry, I already finished! But we still need to do something to make the tentacles look more real! Susan, I think we need suction cups! Wow, that's so easy! And looks awesome, right? Holy cannoli! Sue, you outdid yourself! These look totally awesome! Thanks, Sammy! And you're right on time! Take these to the oven, please! Okay, got it! For how long? For about 15 minutes at 120 degrees Celsius! And while the tentacles are baking, we'll move on! I'm watching you! Oh! They're chasing me! Help! I forgot the spell for petrifying! Ah! Ah! Aha! Take that! Thanks, Sammy! Now we can make the part with the eyes and nostrils! Oh, the tentacles are ready! I'll go check everything! Guys, the book in the movie had four eyes, like a spider! So we'll make four such shapes and join them together! And don't forget about nostrils! It should be able to smell its prey! I mean, it's over! Sam, could you help me with the other half? Yeah, I'll just monitor your work and mirror it! Hmm, four eyes don't actually make my sight better! Huh. Yeah, spider sight is really bad! Most of them recognize only shadows and light! Then I'll just put on another pair of glasses. 
<laughs> Guys, check out this rough surface. Sammy, are you finished yet? Sure, Sue. Did you doubt me? Thanks to Sam, I can put two halves together like this. And this part is almost done. Then it's time for baking again! No, no, this time we'll add some clay softener and then use a blow dryer. Uh, right, otherwise plastic eyes would be ruined! Exactly! Okay, let's get started! <laughs> Sammy, you can't stay still, huh? What do you have there? I've just cut out the Monster Book of... And I lost the rest. And I found it. Let's finish the name on the piece of clay. We transferred letters from a thin piece of paper using a pin. Wow, Sue! You shouldn't use magic outside of Hogwarts! <laughs> <laughs> no magic, just a crafting trick. Huh? We know lots of those tricks! Subscribe and you won't miss anything! Cut it, just bake the piece in the oven and it's done! And now we'll attach it to the box using super glue. What a view! Hey, they bit me! Then let's attach them too so they won't cause any mischief again. Ah, they look so real! And their bite feels real too! Do you agree? The jaws are in their place, but the work is still not done. Let's use the filler to cover all the gaps and transitions we have. It actually looks pretty good! Sammy, do you mind? Oh, not at all! This fake leather will look great as a cover for our book! Am I right? Sam got really upset that all the decor parts were covered! So I'm cutting out the excess pieces! Look, Susan! I have eyes on my back and I'm gonna watch you everywhere you go! <laughs> oh, this one sounds spooky! I'll always keep the toothy box with me then! You won't scare me! Mines aren't easy to scare! Okay, but you don't want to see a hidden secret of the box? A magical secret? I'm absolutely for it! Great! And these eyes are gonna watch for intruders! Then I won't see what's hidden inside? Not fair! No, I guarantee you'll be an exception! Actually, you'll see it first! Oh, I'm very excited! Don't seem like you are, though! You're so still! Cause I don't wanna spill the paint, silly! Don't you know any spell to speed up? Well, I can try to improvise it! Ahem! Pain took us! Color of thickest! Aha! It worked! And it's called a video editing program! <laughs> yeah, we don't have any secrets from you guys. And we're moving to the tentacles. Here, I'll use a brighter and more pinkish color. This is one of my favorite parts! Act like an artist! And don't forget to add some texture to the suction cups with a darker color. Looks awesome! Now it's the gum's turn. Sammy, where are you? You said you like coloring! Mm, I don't know. The part with the teeth looks too creepy. Do you remember the trick to calm down the monster book? Just stroke its spine and it won't hurt you. Here you go. Good monster. Wow, it works! See? And now let's add some shades to make the gums look more realistic. Just add some bits here and there. It shouldn't look perfect, you know. But the teeth should look dirtier. We'll add some color right near the gums. Someone doesn't like to brush them! Arr! Okay, you don't have to! Just don't bite me again! Sammy, don't run too far! Could you find faux fur for the cover? I already did it! It's good for hiding! Great! And I'm adding acrylic to add a glossy finish to the jaws and teeth! Please dry fast! I can't wait too long! And the last step is adding some faux fur! We'll use some small pieces and glue them straight to the cover! Fur, fur, and even Want to see the final result? Then stay with us! Now stroke the back. Done! Open up. Hail Tibby Dabba! It's a real treasure! Well, well. You finally found out the secret of the box. So it's the best! Now I'm ready for everything! Then we can start studying. Your brain needs some training, remember? But first, 
my brain needs some energy, right? This chocolate frog is best fuel! I can't argue with this. Guys, did you like our magical craft? Support us with your thumbs up! They help us make new videos! And don't forget to subscribe! See, See y'all soon. soon! They say, if you hear the sound of sirens in the forest, run. Carson will come, the gigantic creature with sirens for a head hang? Ow! He'll never come back. <laughs> oh, come on! Right, aren't you scared? Sorry, Sammy, but I think the siren head is not so scary. Actually, he's kind of cute. Cute? Rod, you should see him. He's tower tall, with long arms and legs. Where are your manners? And two sirens on his head. I've already heard it. Maybe you can draw it and then I'll get horrified? No, the drawing won't do. I have a better idea. Let's go. Hey guys, today Sam and I are going to make a siren head figure with a 3D pen. Da, da, da. Hmm, I don't get it, Sam. You said the drawing is not enough in this case. Why did you bring this? It's a stencil, Roger. Isn't that obvious? We need to make sure everything's perfect. So, there you go. You just need to outline every body part carefully. Very wise. This drawing looks very cool, Sam. It will serve as the reference. But luckily, I have a really good memory, so we won't need it. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. I'd better save it just in case. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to start. Hmm? Is this broken or something? It won't work without plastic, Roger. <laughs> You're so lucky to have me. How come I didn't notice that, Sammy? <laughs> Okay, you are officially the boss today. And let's go! <laughs> <laughs>